Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, the medieval town that I've been working on for a little over three years. We have a zombie friend coming in to say hello. Not the smartest. I say that and I caught myself on fire. It'll probably go out by the time I get to the swamp. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, uh, I don't need that. Actually, don't need to keep it either. So the other day on stream, we were working on this field up here on the left and thinking about how we're going to divide the rows of flowers up and I've been thinking about how I want to do it. And I don't know if I want to copy the existing fields the way that we have them already. It's pretty easy. And so that's, that's good. Uh, but you can see kind of what I was going for. Uh, this bottom level, I think is going to have to change, which I think I mentioned last time. And that's not a big deal because we can kind of carve back some of these other tiers. Um, and then when we get to the top level, I'm thinking at least three levels of lilac, maybe four, and they're easy to get. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, probably four. And then starting on this level up here, maybe we'll switch to pitcher plants, although they're also di they're difficult to get. So we'll see. The other thing that I had not considered is doing grass. And I don't know why I never thought about this as like a green crop. But it could be interesting. That or even ferns could be fun too. We have, I need bone meal. Might as well get the frame rate back down. I really wish I could play with shaders all the time. It's so much nicer. Although these are brighter without the shaders on. So one of the things we could try would be, let's try it up here. Just do these temporarily. But the idea would be, uh, how did we do that? It was three over and then one up. So probably like here. That kind of a thing, although it's a little bit strange for this section, but. Then we could put something like this in here. Unfortunately, these don't stick in the middle, but neither will the flowers. I mean, it's good coverage. It's just very much the same color green as everything else. And it doesn't really show up on, on the um, map either. Not that that's a big deal.
So we could do something like that too. But I feel like I'll do that maybe in smaller patches. I don't really feel like this is going to be something that looks good for an entire field. Plus, I do like the fact that you can see it on the map. I feel like that could be better in maybe square patches. So maybe because we've got this odd piece of land up here. We could do something that has a little bit more of a row to it. So maybe someplace like here. And these could be either flat or raised. So that could be fun to do in little squares. I know we'll have to see. It'll make more sense if there's more of them, I think. Uh, I haven't not considered Coral Cosmic. I think um, that would be cool. I'm trying to think of the other places I've done it. I've done it in the garden over there, right? I just don't know. There's only a couple of colors that would really make sense. It's a little wild. Like it, it's, it would be cool for a small flower garden. I don't know about like fields and fields and fields of it though. The yellow might be okay. I think the, the pinks and the, I mean the blue is just weird. The yellow and the red maybe. Yeah, like it's not meant to be fantastical, I guess. K Chasm subscribing at tier one, 25 months. Thanks so much. So I think the main thing is to try to get these rows sorted and I may want to, I don't know if I want to start at the top and go down or I want to start at the bottom and go up. I feel like I just want to start at the bottom and go up. And for that, we're going to need probably more uh, lilies. My trip media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. I'll need more coarse dirt. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is try to continue what we've got going on here down below. And it looks like these sort of overlap. So if I wanted to have, oh, I'm getting run out of sunlight. I should get my spare bed. Do I have one? No. Sorry, right. I need the extra bone block box anyway. <clears throat> Let's 
trying to think if there's anything else that I could use. I'm dripstone. I don't know about that. Can you just put this anywhere? I feel like you can. Yeah. I might get a texture pack for the dripstone so it's more 3D. I did that with the um, amethyst crystals and I quite like it. So the amethyst crystals, they look like that. They're a little flat, like the texture on them is not the best, but it's the same texture that's on the flat one, as far as I can tell. So I might look into doing that a little bit nicer. Um, Horse plants. There's a bed. I do have some bushes. Sugarcane is another plant that I should look into as well. Just difficult because you have to put it by water. Probably a good spot would be up here, I guess. So it looks like what I was maybe trying to do up here was like a three by two that overlapped into the next one. So if I did that down here, And I guess I have to decide if I want these to be brown. Maybe I want them to be rooted dirt. Maybe it would be better if the path was rooted dirt. I'm so glad it's easy to get a lot of these. <clears throat> There's a big area there that's kind of empty. But I'm okay with there being maybe a larger path around the outside. It would make sense. So maybe we'll cut this back here. Whoops. Right, so this is where I think we have to change this back layer.
Let's we'll see if that looks any better from down here. Looks a little bit more full. I, I'm still seeing down the paths. I don't know how to change that on that level. I guess we could add two more onto this shape. That's a little bit better. Maybe we can change the direction here a bit. I guess the other thing I have to think about is if I'm going to do a row like this where there's no separation or over here, I actually had a wall that was separating every level. Whereas this one, it's not every level. So maybe I should also think about where I want to put in a wall. I'm thinking it might be better to do these two tiers and then a wall. Uh, can you place flowers on paths? No. No, it's farmland and then grass and dirt. So I think you can place them on things like rooted dirt, mud. That would be kind of cool. We could make it mud just for something different. So you can do rooted dirt, mud, Muddy mangrove roots. Packed mud, maybe? Grass. Coarse dirt. I mean, any kind of dirt is just going to turn into grass anyway. Mud. That. That. And rooted dirt. Yeah, so that's technically a stone. So you can't do it on that. So those are our options. This works really, really well. I'm just wondering whether I want rooted dirt as the path. I think I'd rather go that way. Rooted dirt is the path and then coarse dirt underneath the flower. because the other ones were a little bit high contrast.
Yeah, too much. We might be able to get away with mushroom block in there too. So if we've got something like this, you could imagine this being coarse dirt, or not coarse dirt, being a mix maybe. We might just go all mud, actually. I shouldn't say mud, I mean all packed mud. This might need some darker spots, but we can use powdered concrete for that, maybe. Do you think there will be any new blocks for 1.21, like how you're adding mud that might sneak their way into West Hill after the update? Um, it depends. I We don't update right away, right away. And my goal is to try to have West Hill finished by 1.21. Um, there are some blocks I really wish I did have access to, like the Tough family. I've actually thought about adding it via data pack um, before 1.21, but then I don't know if that data pack just breaks and I have to run around and replace all those blocks. So if, if the data packs weren't changing with 1.21, we would have the crafter and tough blocks and copper blocks from 1.21 already, similar to how Hermitcraft did it. But because they haven't, or because they will break, I it's not really high in my, my list. Where did I want to put that wall? It was this one here. I feel like this would be a pretty natural spot. And we can maybe change the way that that goes, but I feel like that's a decent, decent division. And then we'd have another path back here. So this probably wouldn't be here. Uh, 
And I'll probably change this. It's just that it's so easy to um, to use the path block to kind of mark it out. I find that similar to building uh, the way that I've been doing these paths. It's been measured twice, cut once. Nice big fat path going down the side here. Now, where was I? Really wish the hitboxes on the flowers weren't so big. I know I've mentioned that before. So I don't know what to do about that. Maybe we just put some random greenery in here. Good to have like companion plants in farms. Cheers, Wafer Knight. Thanks so much for dropping by. Always good to see you. I think you've found your way into the Discord, right? I want to say yes. Mm, I don't see you. If you're watching this later, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch account so you've got that Twitch sub. That means you can access the Joel Duggan Discord. I think that's pretty decent coverage. We're still going to have one little bit here. But it's not bad. It's just not quite as heavily. It needs one right there, but then I can't. I guess I could always shift it. Oh, no. It's kind of a weird rotating bit. I feel like this section here, even though it looks fine, I might want to change the angle here. I think for now, I'm going to remove this and we're going to keep it path just so I can see what's going on.
I could also change the wall a little bit too. So that technically should be out to there. So I want to just try to continue this pattern, but offset it a little bit if I can. I can just establish a couple, then I can usually kind of go from there. These ends are always going to be a little bit bigger because they can be harvested from both sides. I'm kind of thinking like, even though you can't reach three deep, if you were harvesting, maybe you could come around the other side. Doesn't quite have the same vibe to it. So that's what I'm going to try to avoid is being able to see down two paths at once. So we'll probably back off on that one. I mean, we can always expand the wall to make this work. Yeah, so if I move this over, this. And technically, I guess this could be a slab. Blast, Jordan, good to see you. Thanks very much. Yeah, having a good day. Pretty chill. I've been spending a little bit, we'll say maybe too much time in the morning, chilling with a cup of coffee and playing No Man's Sky. Um, I'm trying to give that game a good shot, but I feel like there's a lot of loops in that game that I just don't find. The dialogue is all the same. I like the idea of building ships, but you know it's difficult to kind of find the stuff. I, I think the thing that I'm at least satisfied with is I've been watching uh, this guy Jason plays really good tutorial stuff about no man's sky and i picked up a couple of tips about how to make some money and but the base building is terrible like it's it's so it just doesn't work 
you know, so you end up being, eh, it's good enough. You know, like just, you want it to look a certain way. You want it to function a certain way. And you know that you've done the thing right. Like you've got the power, you've got the cable, you've got the mo- the the module and you hook them all up and it just doesn't work. And then tomorrow you do the same thing and it works. So you just, it just like, it's really inconsistent. And it, the more I play games like that, that have some sort of appeal, um, the more, I just appreciate how well Minecraft does all of this, you know, like the freedom things work as you expect most of the time. Like not that Minecraft is perfect. There's still bugs and there's still quirks that really drive you nuts. But I feel like there's just a certain amount of, I don't know, um, consistency in minecraft that other games don't seem to nail very well what i find appealing about no man's sky is the exploration and the spaceships and the sci-fi nature of it and stuff the dog fighting in that game by the way sucks absolute garbage dislike if i had it all to do over again i would probably choose like easy difficulty or something where there's nothing to fight because it's just it's it's not a first person shooter and it's not a. it tries to be a little bit too much and doesn't excel at any of them but the base building is really, really problematic. Now, I should say, I need to give it a solid shot on the computer. I've been playing with an Xbox controller and trying to do fine movements with an Xbox controller for me is terrible. Unless it's like a, a shooter that's geared towards it. Like Halo, I find I can be really accurate shooting first person in Halo. But with No Man's Sky, I'm all over the place. I don't find it very good at all. What was I over here looking for? I feel like it was something. Wasn't bone meal. Don't remember what I, oh, slabs, dirt slabs. So places where the path come to an end. Right. Whoops. they've changed the hockey on me they have i wish that i don't know why that restarts or changes every time um every so often and i don't update the mods but i don't know why it overrides my hockeys Right. Uh, hmm. Maybe three. Oh, no, it's not there. Be here.
and we could fill this space in by having like a barrel or something like that there if we wanted to or i could separate these and have like a separate uh plantation here and then put a path down the middle Slightly more interesting shape. We can play with that. Jay Chris, hello, hello. Every time you get a Windows update, Jay Chris, it changes the hotkeys from most of the games that you play. That would be infuriating. That should be a separate thing. That's another beef I have with No Man's Sky is that um, unlike almost any other game on Xbox, you can't change the the uh, layout of the controller. There's a couple of things. You can switch the joystick directions. You can change the sprint key, but like you can't just change the buttons. And in the other games that I've played, you can absolutely just change the buttons to suit the way that you want to play, which I think is a much better way to do it. Two, two, so it would be all the way here, I guess. And then this is weird. Maybe I have to get rid of this one. That could be interesting too, you know. I never thought about that. We could have... Like, oh no, that would be really annoying to walk down. Never mind. I thought we could have like a recessed path. But no. Trapdoors would work. That looks right. Just missing. I guess there'd need to be one here. And then that would change this. And then that just kind of ends there. So here we would probably have 
maybe some sort of step down. That would make sense. The weird thing about doing these farms is that you end up with more empty space than you think you're going to. Certainly more than you imagine going into it in the first place. So here I'd probably want to change the direction a little bit uh, so it doesn't go quite as straight. And this is going to be probably more utility path than anything else. I have a couple little gates here and there. And then you can use like your different foliage and grass and things to kind of round out the weird shapes on the edges. If I can't change the hotkeys on a or controller layout, I won't play it. Jake says, "Great, Jake Christ." Yep, I can see that. I, I that's valid. You know, I think that that's a real, a real thing, especially if you just think about it from, I mean, forget about just player pe preference and people just wanting it to be a certain way. Like imagine just, you know, disability settings or accessibility settings, I should say. Man, that feels like a lot of space, but we might be able to f make that feel a little bit tighter with some barrels or something. So the idea, again, is just to make sure that these paths are not lining up. And I can change the wall. This is the, the nice thing about working from the inside out on some of these things, is that if you feel like you want a little bit of extra space, you can always just nudge the wall a little bit. Do something like that. So let's do, I guess at this point, I don't have to say the same direction. Let's just say this is the path. Kind of did exactly what I didn't want to do. Don't know. Maybe that has to be over one. Whoops. Smurf 588 subscribing at tier one. 30 months, the big three zero. Thanks so much, Smurf. I don't get a chance to thank you in person very often, but thank you very much for the awesome support on things like the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe. Very much appreciated. And of course here as well. If 
That should be okay. So then we'd have another bit on this side. And that works out. And then we'd have another path here. Hmm. Maybe that would end up being more flowers. I would like this to be double white as well. And this is where I think we'll just move the wall. Smurf588 gift and five subs. That went out to Tense Milkman. Shenanigans afoot. Great username. Tractor Tarzan. The Dark Angel and Freaker? I want to say Freaker. Thanks very much. Really appreciate those uh, those gift subs. Folks, if you've got a gift sub, connect to your Discord and your Twitch accounts and then join the Joel Duggan Discord. It'll be in the uh, Connections tab on your Discord. Maybe we don't need these. Cosmic says it's time for a break. I should probably stick to that before I get going on adjusting the wall. But you can kind of see what I'm doing now. It's kind of having like a, it's going to be more of a sweep. Uh, and it won't interfere with the pond too much. It'll just be kind of coming over this way. So that'll be good. Um, I think I have to be careful using these. They're the same color as the coarse dirt. And I think I need to switch it so that they're maybe... A different texture. Don't know if spruce planks will be different, but we'll see after the break. Can you suggest pink for everything? Everything is already pink. <laughs> Everything's already pink. I don't know. Don't understand what you're saying. You could have a pink starship in No Man's Sky if you want. Anyway, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. I will see you in just a few minutes.
All right, let's see if we can finish the layout of at least the lilac plants. I might try to pop up and work a little bit on the house too, just to, to try and treat it all as one build rather than just focusing on the fields and then adjusting for things later. Thank you, Cosmic. Now, do these show up as a different color? Yes. Okay. I'll worry about this little connection here later. I just want to get this bottom tier looking the way that I want. So here it feels a little bit funny to have this weird little sprig. So this is where we might start to move the wall a little bit. Now hopefully that will all look okay. So one of the things I'm thinking about doing cosmic in the sci-fi area is some custom biomes. And I feel like there could be some fun to be had with like cherry blossoms, pink concrete powder, Maybe even some crimson stuff. Coral. I'm thinking about doing like an like entire little mini biomes. I think that could be fun. Not sure why that's looking so strange. I just do this wrong? No, that looks right. This is just a strange little section here. I think because this is just such a long straight section. be better to cut this off here.
but then that just ends up being like that. So weird. I wish that these angles were working just a little bit nicer. You almost want to do the layout for the farm first and then do the walls afterwards. Here, I think we just have to change the angle. Maybe that's the trick is that I have to start changing the angle every once in a while. Yeah. Some of these are going to have to be pie shaped, I think, for it to actually work. And this is where sometimes the wall has to shift so that it feels like you can pass things a little bit better. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is probably going to have to change a bit too. Yeah, it's more of a gap here than I was anticipating, but it's feeling a little bit better. And then here we can do, I call it the fish, fish shape. <laughs> to me, it looks like a little Minecraft fish.
feel like that could work. Yeah, let's see what it looks like planted. The good news is these are very easy to take down if we change our mind. And we don't have to wait for them to grow up like wheat. Changing your mind when you're using wheat is a real pain. Thank you, Cosmic, for being awesome. I've often thought about doing like a custom flower pack. I know Fwip has one. It does look a little bit weird. In terms of organization, it feels a little bit strange down here. Maybe we'll make that a little bit chunkier. You also don't have to worry about trampling anything down here, which is nice. You know how like you can trample farmland by accident? Oh yeah, that does look strange. Oh, maybe we'll do this and then that. That makes a little bit more sense. Feels very narrow though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I like the variety that we get with that data pack that does different one high flowers on different blocks. Could be fun to apply something similar to um to two tall flowers right this is just a placeholder so we'll move this Yeah, this is all kinds of messed up right now. Maybe I've just gone too far the other way.
I think what has to happen here is going to be just some like stuff piled up. Put some placeholders in for now. I think that'll work. Maybe we can create um, like a bucket or something. Although if I do that, you can't do path block. That's fine. So we'll have something there. That might actually be interesting to look at too. Coming up the hill here, if there's something more going on here. So that's what we'll do there. And then I think the rest of this wall looks okay. Up until that point. And then this feels a little bit strange. So I think what we'll do is we'll back this up to there. a little on the boring side. That's a little bit better. Looks better outside. I guess it's just gonna have to have this kind of weird double, double thing happening. I can fix that later. Oh, and this was meant to be path up here, I guess. Yeah, okay, we'll have to think about that.
Oh, maybe it won't, uh, maybe it won't go to the sides like this. Connects pretty well. So we'd have to figure out what would be happening here. Probably something unique. Because this is where I wanted to have more, definitely more lilacs happening. I feel like I might want to do another wall up here too. M, hello, welcome in. Always good to see you. Yeah, I use redstone in my builds from time to time. This has mostly been been an aesthetic project. There's not been a lot of function. There's a sorting system and there's other stuff like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Actually, now that I've done that, I almost want to have this curve back in more. Yeah, we can play with that. Yeah, the 36 hour day cosmic is definitely something I would like to somehow achieve. Okay. Um, I think I want to take a poke at what's happening up here. Just to kind of give myself a change of pace. So we can drop this stuff in here. I'll keep the bushes in case I need them. Don't need the ferns. All right, so if I'm thinking about this top place here, 
obviously we want the the pathway up to kind of go towards the front of the house so this would technically be the front of the house and it's on an angle just roughly it doesn't have to be like this um i feel like this would be a good one to kind of like maybe connect and wind around that's why i wanted to move up here is because i wanted to know what to do with that path and I did, I put a rock here, but that's a very simple thing. So one of the things that I like to do sometimes is pop over to Pinterest and look at some different stuff. And so I've got a couple of ideas. I try not to look at Minecraft builds. Like generally I look more at stuff like this and try to come up with my own way of doing things. But that's about the size I think of this house would make a good one. Oh, I hate how Pinterest navigates. It drives me crazy. That's too big. This has got some good ideas in it. So does that, but that's a little bit too big as well. I do like that kind of layout. And there was one other one that I saw that I liked as well. I think maybe is in the farms. Yeah, that was kind of cool too. So not very big. But I thought I saw one that was more of an L shape. This sort of idea. I guess it's maybe that one. It's definitely not going to be two floors. I know that much. Some of these are just big, which is fine for in the town. Most of these were, were looked out, you know, when I was looking for houses in the town, which are almost all two story. I do like that. Just a little bit tall. We'll get some deep slate, I guess. The roof. I don't think it's big enough where Right, it's not going to go down over the other tier. I mean, we could adjust that, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I have deep slate out here. Nope. Anything else? Probably not. Bring that just in case. It's nice to have the big crossroads to lay all the shulker boxes in. Yeah, the one with the red accents on the roof is nice, Cosmic, I agree. The problem with the red accents is that they would kind of clash with um, with the pink in the in the lilacs. Let's just go blocks for now.
So I, th I could have sworn I bookmarked one had more. Maybe it was in buildings. These are all pretty big. A lot of them just seem to have like a tower and a and a gable to try to make like a roof shape. Oh, there it is there. It just didn't get sent to the wrong to the right spot. I do like the Pinterest sort of like guesses as to what you're looking at and then gives you more ideas beyond what you looked up. That part is at least pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the one that I was thinking of. I don't know about the tower, but I just like the kind of subtle L shape to it. I thought that was cool. So what I was thinking is that I don't think I'd want to have the L out here. I think the L would be more on this side. So the front door would be probably around here. Right, and then that would be this part here. Could even come out a little bit more. The idea that it kind of welcomes you in. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe you'd go seven. And then this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. We can mess around with it a little bit. Go get some logs. Need to get some more spruce going on. I think you make a castle out of anything that you want insane value it all depends on what kind of vibe you're going for So this might be too tall. Maybe we'll go a little lower.
guess I should get slabs as well. It's a pretty good height, I think. I don't think I want it to be any taller than that. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then this other part would have a gable going the other way. So we just kind of run them together. Uh, what did I say? This is going to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. Now, this may not work because of the way that I've got this stuck out here. There's a cave underneath here somewhere. I can hear them. Now that went one inside, so it would be here. So that ends up being smaller than the actual footprint. So be careful there. Not quite as interesting. Maybe we could put in like a back door. It feels a little simple. I think it needs a little bit more in the middle. I don't like how don't think how long and plain it is there, so it needs something, I think. And I guess the other thing to think about is how it would be divided up. So I feel like there'd be probably a kitchen here. So, table. Maybe stove and things. And I guess the bedrooms could be down this way. The bedroom, maybe there's just the one.
trying to spitball a little bit. So it feels like it kind of welcomes you in in the front. That's what I'm going for. That might be a little bit too close together. Not bad it's just that it's a little bit plain i think on the top so we'd have to find a place to put maybe the chimney maybe that could be there so maybe the hearth could be here A little bit big. Feels like a lot of open space here, though. Maybe this could get moved over there. This is one thing I do like, and I think is worth doing, is is kind of working from the inside out sometimes. Get a rough idea what you want and then start to think about like table, hearth, stove, kitchen stuff, you know, like counter. How close do you want that to the door? Does that mean the door maybe has to move over by one? You know, like if I wanted that there, it might be worth scooting the door over. And that leaves maybe a spot there that we can make it more interesting. This just feels very open. It's the only thing. I do find I walk around a lot when I do this kind of stuff. I like that connection there. Seems to work pretty well. The too deep window is a little bit strange. So we might be able to reduce the depth on that. I think I like this. Just this feels very open. And then I gotta think about the gable on this side too. You do what is otherwise known as the Joel walk. <laughs> Seeing people use it as they build. Yeah, I think for me it's because I want the player experience to be really cool. Like that's the perspective. I always build from the player perspective. Like I'm, I don't want things to be oversized. I want it to feel good. When, and I want it to make sense when you walk in. Like you walk in. It makes like welcoming you with a hearth is good. Um, I just don't know about the whole kitchen. I mean, maybe the kitchen is, should be. Maybe I should think this. Uh, or think about this in a different way. Like maybe that should be the kitchen. I 
That way we could put a chimney over there. But then I guess we could put like our table here. That still makes all of this feel very open though. That's less open. I mean, this could be sort of like the hang your coat area. That just feels very tight. And then I guess for windows, maybe we'd have a big one. Oh no, wait a minute, that would be the stove. The stove is gonna go farther down, I think. It's a huge kitchen. Yeah, I think that sometimes people get build over scale, but I think that there's a certain consistency to that too. If that's what you're going to do, then I think that you can um I guess get away with it if that makes sense. So we might be able to add some interest out here by um having like a hollow space there. Do like that a little bit better. So maybe we can do something more out here. That feels like it sections off the living room more. I mean, really, it's Minecraft. You, you don't want to have stuff that you're constantly having to work around. All right, I think I need to figure out what's happening with the roof. Oh, more stairs required. Yeah, I like the tough palette. I was saying earlier that it would be nice to uh, to use it in West Hill, but I don't know if we'll get there. West Hill might be finished by the time it actually comes to pass. So the idea here would that there would be a chimney probably there. Or here. I 
I guess we'll just use dirt for the chimney. So in the example that I was looking at, the chimney is actually on the front of the building. But I think this makes sense. That's pretty good. I'd like to have a little bit more um, variety in the roof. Like I feel like I want this mid roof to go higher. I just don't want it to be a bigger build. We can change the slope of the roof and that would then allow me to go higher in the middle. So let's try a whole block higher. And then go down like that. So then this part can just connect right into the side of it like that. But then that doesn't change the footprint. This would be Still the same. Maybe a little higher on the back. Not quite as cool looking. I think maybe we don't want to break the roof line with the chimney. Maybe we just have the chimney zigzag a little bit. Guess that makes sense. And then I, I guess I could just drop down once we get over this section, maybe. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe it drops here. Oops. Thanks for the heads up, Cosmic. Probably should wrap things up here. I'm feeling like I've got a, a bit going here. Like I feel like I've got a good idea 
on how I want this to look. I just need to back up and maybe take a look to see how it's all working together. And yeah, maybe this has to be smaller. Although it's only, it's really only a three by three with an addition. So it's not that it can really get that smaller. All right, let's do a line here. So this would actually line up. And then here it would shift. That's pretty good. Uh, this was supposed to be the chimney. Maybe we'll put another chimney here. So the only thing I'm a little concerned about is that connection there. But it could be a cool overlap. Although, yeah, I have to figure out how that's going to work. I may need to, maybe this needs to be a different gable. I don't know. Generally, it's better to do um, gables running against one another. So, like, you either do gable running that way and then cross it, you know, like that, or um, just have one. So then that would be one gable, then that would be the other. But it's a pretty decent footprint. It's not overly large. See what it looks like as we walk around here. So it doesn't really come into view right away, which I like. It's not going to be until you're around the corner. That's a lot of pink. But then you've got the contrast of the darker house and the hill. Plus that tree's in front of it too. So it really doesn't feel very big at all, which is good. And then you're, you're really not gonna be seeing it on the road until you actually turn on the road. Yeah, I like that look. Cause you've got this gable, this little part that sticks out and then another layer. So it's like, it's got three layers to it, but it's still not a huge house. Like it's one bedroom and a kitchen and a fireplace. Seriously, I'm trying to show off the build, Minecraft. Let's take a look at it from the other direction. Pretty good. Not tall. Doesn't compete with anything. Doesn't compete with the hills behind it. Still pretty visible. There's obviously going to be another house there. Would we be able to see that? So yeah, depending on what I do with that house, this house might actually be hidden. So this is a good example of like when I'm planning that next house, I'm probably going to nudge that in a different direction. So from over here, instead of this house being completely hidden, I might try to have like this corner be more like here so that it only half hides the house. So you'll get more of a layered effect as you're walking in. 
And then also you'll have, if, again, if this is over more, you'll be able to frame the wheat farm in the distance between the two houses better. Yeah, I think I can work with that. I just, it's, it's this drop that's a little bit confusing right now as to whether or not I want to do it. Um, again, the reference was this and what I was thinking about when I was building live is I flipped this left to right. So the, this part here on my build is over there in terms of like rough, roughly, like I'm not copying it. I'm just kind of like coming up with my own idea. So I'll get a little bit closer. I just kind of flipped it and I'm not doing a tower. I might be able to do something back there with something a little bit larger. I like these two little bits here. I think they're fun. Um, this might be a problem too. I don't know if I want that to go higher. That might be okay. And then maybe we can push this up by one. It's a little, little steep maybe. That's the, the Minecraft resolution sneaking up and being a problem. Yeah. So I may have to move things around to get what I want. That's why I don't commit to filling in the roof or doing anything like this, because there's a chance I might want to nudge this somehow move it somewhere else like this section here it might be worth bringing out instead but I'm pretty happy with this inside We could probably also have some storage or something in the corner. Decently bright in the bedroom. I mean, obviously there's no roof. That could be a cool pattern too, if the roof kind of collapsed and not collapsed, but like came down in that section, it could, it could be neat. And then that would give us room to do like a beam or something. So if we wanted to have a cross beam here. That helps add like a little coziness to it. I think I could work with it. I think I could work with it. <laughs> Bit of a skylight, yeah? I'll, you know, that's something that's worth uh, noting, Cosmic, is maybe 
somewhere. I'm not sure where. I wouldn't do it on the main road, but this house maybe? We could do a farmhouse that's like run down and had the roof cave in. Like maybe it's not an active farm. Maybe it's like abandoned and it has like, like just like this, you know, just start something like this and just leave bits open. You know, you could have grass growing inside. You could have all kinds of stuff. That's a great idea. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> I'm not sure why that never dawned on me. Just as like a fun exercise, something different to do. East River Bank. Um, sure. Gotta love adding to the to-do list. <laughs> but you can sort of see what we're going for here. Um, I feel like we'll do another row of, of um, lilacs and then we'll switch to Maybe the, um, these guys, and I think these guys will go nice. The, um, pitcher plants will go nice with the deep slate. Kind of like the palette for this. I don't know if we're going to go cobblestone. Obviously we're, we might try to go something a little bit different. Uh, maybe andesite and stone or something, but it'll be a mix. I'm sure. Um, I just know that I don't want to go spruce roof because like, there's just so much dark oak and spruce here on um this build i'd like to try and switch around plus we've got this one down here I think of so i think a deep slate roof would go good there and that leaves us an option here to do like a wooden one if we want to cool right on uh let's see who's live i'd love to send you folks on to somebody else playing minecraft Let's raid Exumavoid. Doing a slime farm, probably on Hermitcraft. X is a fantastic streamer. I'm sure you are all familiar. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to be back again tomorrow. That's Saturday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast, wherever you find your favorite podcasts. They're free. Subscribe. Why not? Helps us out a great deal just to kind of have those extra ears listening week to week. If you received a gift sub today, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can join the just the Discord if you have a Twitch sub, if you have a Prime sub, or a gift sub. You can also check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is one of the best ways to support me on stream. It's only $2 a month. I don't even know if you can buy a coffee for $2 these days. So buy me a coffee or half a coffee and uh, get to participate in the Discord, get to support me streaming. I get to do this more often because of all of you. Appreciate it. Cosmic, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for the modding help. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.